Let's see you live up to your reputation. Rally to your lord! from ice. My lord, we have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Thank you. You must survive, Asha. For the house. For all of us. Go! What you did was right. 
I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how it's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. We don't have much time.
house Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. And then, that whole business with Tyrion. She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tut. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Jabbing out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. A savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But... I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. But afterward, his uncle told me the truth. That Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. He had gave up all he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end. If not my help. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... Nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead? His mother dead? His little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these Northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost 